Alright, what's up guys, Robot here, and today we're going to be making a YouTube background episode 5, and this one will look like this, so it's pretty much the same one I have on my background right now, but this is a this is a non-partnered layout, and um, most of you are non-partnered, I guess, so you can easily convert it, but we're going to get started, so if I go to open, and then I'm just going to go to um, get a template, now if you... There are templates on my channel, but you have to look at the videos because they're in the. There are about 100 subs, I released a template pack, and they're still perfectly fine. So, alright, so now we've got our template. Sorry if you can hear like car noises or the Modern Warfare music, I've got it on. So, you might be able to hear it, but I'm not sure. Alright, so what you want to do is go to the background, double click it to make it a normal layer, and hide the fade. Then I'm going to double click it again. And I'm going to go to color overlay and we want to go to, I never like using an exact black so I just go with 020202 which is like a really dark grey. And then I'm going to apply the same color to the modules like so. And I'm going to add a stroke, size 1, color white and blend mode to overlay. And I'm going to add a drop shadow, bring the distance to zero. Add an outer glow, make it normal, blend mode, color, black, and then just leave that as it is. Okay, so now what we want to do is uh, the main part, and you want to go to this little kind of semicircle here, and go to gradient. And now you can do whatever color you want, as you can see I have loads of gradients here. Um, I've made a purple preset and I made a green preset. So we're just going to use green for the time being, and I'll tell you the colours in a minute. But you want to go to radial, and scale 150, and sort of just drag it up a bit if you want. Just position it so it looks about right. There we go. Alright, now the colours for this one are... Oh, crap. Alright. Okay, so you've got dash, three, six, double F, double zero to zero C five five zero zero and that's pretty much that. Alright. Okay. Christ. Alright, I'll just do this again quickly. Okay. So um green radial one fifty. Okay. And then you want to go to this and then pattern. And now what you want to do is use a line pattern like that, that will do very nicely. If you don't have a line pattern, just make one, they're really easy to make. If you, yeah, you can find a tutorial pretty much anywhere on the internet. So I'm going to go with about 60% opacity. And now what you want to do is go to Control O, and if you don't already have this um, texture, then I'll, I'll send it over. I need to find it first. Um, I think it was space a space kind of texture with stars this one will do okay now copy that and you want to bring it just below the pattern I'd go with uh, I don't think it really matters whether it's above or below and set the blend mode to color dodge and at around 70 I think so you can see that gives you a nice green effect like that and then you can just duplicate the image by pressing control J and dragging it across to this side here. Okay, so now we've got the basic background done. We want to open Cinema 4D and make the 3D text to go with it. So, I, as I said, I'll include this in uh, a download link for this in the description. And you set the blend mode to color dodge and 70%, which should give you a nice effect. So, here, what you want to do is open up a Lightroom. Um, Go to graphics in my 4D and Grayscale Gorilla. So we'll open Grayscale Gorilla's light kit. And you can, I guess, you can use whichever one you want. If you use a regular light kit, just use that. So here, I don't know what the hell that is. Um, why am I inserting things? Alright, I'm going to go into studios and open the top one, which is the one I always use, and just delete the studio, the room, and the objects. And then go to MoGraph, Mo Text. So now you can do whatever you want here. So I'm going to go on Text, 
tutorial and just align it to the middle so it's centered and we're going to go with the font of Colony Wars which is the Optic Gaming font and the one I have in my current background so I'm just going to scale this down a bit because it's a bit big at the moment that's what she said um, okay so now we've got that we're going to just slightly increase the depth to about 50 um, cap so I'm going to go on cap fill it cap fill it cap fill it cap and then just click constrain and then you want to copy the text and paste it twice and click on this little box up here so you get a quad view like that and you want to drag the second one back so it's just at the back like that and then the third one you want to drag back just so it's like in the middle kind of and then I'm going to increase the caps, so I'll just take off constraint and increase these to about 6 and take off constraint for these ones so you want to go to file shader and then um, nukai um, basically I'm sort of copied Apex Predators text tutorial with this one I think mine's slightly different but if you want more detail then you can go to his um, tutorial and just look at that because I think they're pretty much the same so drop Nukai onto the first text which will give it a sort of grey effect and I can't remember exactly how I did this I think it was then green and then then black and then green alright so now if you've got these default black materials which you should do if not just create a simple black material just double click and bring it down to black. Really don't need any texturing on that and drag it onto the second material um second text. And I might increase the caps a little bit because it doesn't look too visible. And then I'm going to create a new one which is a glossy sort of green, so you want to bring it to the green. If you are doing green, if not then just do another color. Go to luminance, um bring that to green down to about 10 and then reflection bring that to green and bring that down to about 15 and just drag and drop that onto the last text so now if you click up here you should be able to see that it's taking shape and increase the caps as accordingly to what you're going to do so I'm going to increase the depth as well just to make it look a bit nicer and then you want to go to render settings go to output 1920 by 1080 save as a PNG with an alpha channel I'm going to save it on my desktop for the time being. Um, and I'm going to add ambient occlusion, depth of field, and color correction, which is just, I don't even know what depth of field and color correction do, but I just add them anyway. Alright, so now I'm going to zoom in a bit and click render. Oh, for Christ, I hate this stupid. Uh, like it always does this to me. Um, so if we go here, just click this and then press that and then just hit enter and then click render. Alright, so there we go. While that's rendering, you can add any effects to you want you might want. So I'm gonna clear the guides for the moment. And I'm just gonna quickly save this because I always I always um get it wrong, so I'm just gonna save as how to make a YouTube background episode 5 ha <laughs> how about that for a name um okay so now if you want you can add like you can duplicate this uh modules box and then just create a new layer merge them and then you can erase like with a soft eraser you can just erase parts of the uh sorry if you can hear the noise too cuz now my laptop's getting noisy you can erase certain parts of the stroke to make it kind of if you set the blend mode to overlay you'll get a kind of lightened effect as you'll see yeah so you can do that as well but I'm not a big fan of kind of really dark colors so I just use a kind of dark grey alright so now the text is rendering um, pretty much all you've got to do when the text has rendered is just put it on the background you know it's not it's not very hard from here, so just mess around. Oh, and um, while you're listening, I've got a kind of 
I'm thinking about giving like three backgrounds away a week, but I'm not sure. I don't want to just upload a video and how would you guys how would I decide who won? I could do random selection. But then I'm thinking that's kind of a bit unfair. Alright, so leave comments if you've got any ideas on that. But now the text is rendered, we're gonna go back into Photoshop and just open the text file and then go to control A, Control C and then paste on here by control V control uh, I'm gonna zoom out a bit and then hit control T and right click and click rotate 90 degrees counterclockwise zoom out a bit more and then just um, hold down shift and scale this in and drag and drop it just there now I'm gonna zoom in oh and if you can see these lines you obviously don't want those on your background but if you use a soft eraser uh, you should be able to fade them out Okay, so now we've got this text, but it doesn't look too great, so we're going to kind of double click it and add a gradient overlay. Now I'm going to make this angle 180, blend mode overlay, and it'll look better if it's just one line of text rather than two, because with two, the kind of the bottom one's really dark and the top one's really bright. So um, if you go to drop shadow and outer glow, blend mode normal, color dark grey and then click OK now if I layer this via cut it should add a nicer effect because um, you'll be able to see that it looks nicer on one kind of layer of text alright so here we go layer via cut and then you can see the gradients look much more effective you can even move this one below the first text to provide a kind of in-depth effect but that's pretty much it so if you paste another layer for example and just bring this behind there and then I rotate it 90 and just a little bit more kind of alright now what you want to do here is if you just go to color dodge and bring that down to about 40 you can see that provides a really nice glowy effect for text in the background and yeah, so that's pretty much it guys. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like or a favourite. Please leave a comment, especially on uh, what kind of background giveaway ideas you'd like to see. And as always, 300 likes and I will give you the project files for this, including the Cinema 4D project and the Photoshop PSD. So please like the video and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.